Hello and welcome to Infinity. We've been talking a lot about layers uh, of later. I thought I'd just take a bit of a break from those and have a look at something useful uh, that isn't available you know, visibly but is quite easy to get to. That's the info panel and we'll use it to do some white balancing. So what we're going to do is go to the view here and go down to studio and what you see here is a whole bunch of things and these are all little panels that you can use and the ones which ticks are ones you can see already so things like the, uh, the color uh, and layers as of course but we're going to go down to the info one here so here here it is and I can always if I go with this thing I can always drag it over these when you see a little blue bit up here that means it's it's going to fit in there so there I can drag it put it to the end there if I wanted to see if necessary these things sort of shorten their names but we're going to drag it out here into the middle of this so we can see what it is what it does it tells you information about the the channels the red green and blue underneath here so when I'm moving around here you can see the RGB numbers are all changing also the uh, there's this piece here and this little piece here are kind of the same but this is so that's red, green, blue, red, green, blue, but you can also change them if I clicked on this one here and change that to say CMYK, then I'm looking at the cyan, magenta, yellow and black. The A at the bottom there stands for alpha and that just means transparency and that's normally 255, which is the maximum value you can get on an 8-bit system. See down here it says that slash 8, that means it's 8-bit which means 255 is the biggest value. So red, green and blue can all vary between 0 and 255. And A there, that's transparency or opacity. But we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to look at the red, green and blue. And what we're going to do today is we're going to look at using this to fix the white balance in this picture. And the way to do this, these things here should be white. But if I put the cursor over here, you can see, so there, red is 167, green is 193, and blue is 183. So they're, they're quite different, which means that's not quite white, because the red, green, and blue have to be the same for, to, for it to be white to grey to, to black. So we're going to figure out how to change those. But if I move the mouse about, those all change. So I'm going to want it fixed. So I'm going to go to the bottom one here that little target there if I drag that out over to one of these here so in an area there where that should be white and let that go now I can see I've got three figures here 179 205 and 193 so I'd like to fix that so what I'm going to do is put in a white balance control which I could do down here into under adjustments I've got a uh, white balance up there or I can go to, to, to here layer new adjustment layer same thing exactly got white balance there and this brings up the control for this here so now what do i want to do with this i want to have i can't change red here directly because i got green and magenta and i've got blue and yellow so let's look at the others so green is high isn't it so let's try bringing that down to closer to the others so if I, the opposite to green, if I went to green, that's going to go up. So I'm going to make, go the other way to make it less green. And it may not notice it at first because the eye is very good at adjusting itself. But we'll bring that up there till, where is that going to go to? So I'm looking at something that, there, all the way down there. So where it's closer to this, it's all the way up here. See, that's gone up to 201. But let's try adjusting this one now. So we'll go away from the blue because again the blue is a bit too high there now so I'm going to go up there and look they're now sort of moving around together there so maybe just a little bit there when they're close together they don't have to be exactly the same but look there so you've got red 202 green 200 blue 202 that's close enough and you can see here now this is a lot whiter than it was before and notice this here now we've got this white balance layer here which means we could always come back to it later on if we wanted to change that, which is the benefit of layers, of course. So in, even if I unclick this here, see, look, now that looks a lot, you know, bluer. Before we first looked at it, it looked white, but if I 
but turn that again on again. Now that really does look white. So the info panel has kind of disappeared because I clicked the little X on it, but it's left this thing here, which is a bit of a nuisance. But I can always go to View, Studio, down to Info again. And I have to go from here up to clicking back up to the arrow there. And then that little circle has disappeared. So if I want to keep this and rather go up to there again, I can always just stick it down here, which I often do. I'll leave it down there. See, so I can slide it across to wherever I want it to be. But then I'll leave it on something like the history or just the, the picture there. Right, anyway, that's it. So hope that's useful and thank you very much for watching.